Wow, I had a long day. My makeup is a mess, but I went to the gym today. I did legs like a maniac. I I will tell you what all I did in my fit vlog. Maybe I should tell you now. Um, I did my first set of squats, which was 135 pounds, then I went up to 155 pounds, and then I did 175 pounds. I did 10 reps for each set. And then I did, um, ooh, ooh, I got something on my mouth from eating lunch. And then I did, um, three sets of lunges. The first set was 40 pounds, second set was 50 pounds, third set was 60 pounds and 10 reps on each of those each leg by the way and then I did some exercises on the floor one of them was hip raises with 50 pounds um, another was leg kickbacks and then I did some squats with the kettlebell and then I finished everything up with the stair treadmill and I was kicking my leg back in the stair treadmill. I was on fire at the gym today. And then I went to my favorite food bank, Dorcas, the Seventh-day Adventist food bank. I always have so much fun when I'm there. The people are so nice. And I want to show you all the great stuff I got. So let's get into it. So first of all, I got this honeydew melon. It is huge. And then I got some toilet paper. I also got a soup and stews cookbook and some conditioner, a dozen eggs, a gallon of milk, and some cheese bread. So let's see what is all in these bags. So I have some mild cheddar, a pack of maple brown sugar oatmeal, turkey broth. It's just plain turkey broth. I will definitely use that. Okay, some Moose Munch. Ooh, by Harry and David's. I love this. This is just plain caramel. Some Zatarain's red beans and rice. Yum. Another box of milk. I can never have too much milk. Ooh, yum, I got a Quest Bar. It is chocolate chip cookie dough. And I got some figs. And some strawberry jello, yum, I love jello. I got some simply nourished cat food. And some green beans. Some pumpkin puree. Some almond butter. Some more pumpkin puree, which I am not mad because you can always make pumpkin bread, pumpkin muffins, pumpkin oatmeal. There's so many good things you can do with pumpkin, pumpkin waffles. I'm not mad to get a lot of pumpkin. I will definitely use it. Okay, so here is some cat food. Nature's recipe. This looks yummy. Ooh, look at that. I'm sure Mihoshi will love it. I bet that has to go in the fridge, though. Oh, it's a dog food. I will give that to my neighbor because I don't have a dog. Okay, and then I got um, pinto beans. Ooh, lima beans. Cool. I'll have to make uh, chicken and dumplings. Maybe that's what I should do with the chicken thighs because I love chicken and dumplings with the lima beans. I got sliced peaches, and that's all that was in that bag. Now I have another bag over here. Okay, I don't think I was recording when 
I unboxed the rest of this because my camera battery died and I think I forgot to press record after that. But basically, I left off I think at the lima beans. So I got lima beans and um, I think I'm going to make chicken and dumplings with that. I also got some sliced peaches and then I opened up my frozen stuff. I got five packs of tofurkey deli slices, which I did ask for uh, tofu this time. And I got some golden carrots. And then for fresh produce, I got four onions, two mangoes, a rambutan. I actually got three rambutans but I ate one already and I gave another one to a guy that was there and then I got some salary too. Okay I got two bags of clothes here from Dorcas. I didn't get as many clothes this time as last time but I still got some cute stuff so let's go through them. So I got this beautiful blue and purple paisley scarf and I don't know if you can really see the details on that um, but it's really pretty feels like it might be silk but it's more likely rayon um, I'm not really seeing a tag on it but it's really pretty this one definitely feels like silk. No, it's polyester. Sometimes polyester can feel like silk. Okay, and this one is like cubes or squares of um, greens and blues. And this one's probably my favorite of them all. This one just looks like water to me. It's like aqua and purple. It's gorgeous and it's um, satiny. Then I got this beautiful green shirt. It's got like rufflies at the bottom and it's got bell sleeves and there's like some velvet um, ribbon right there and then it's got this crochet collar. It's really pretty. And I got this red floral print and it's really pretty also. I like the small print. Um, I was not the first person there so last time I was the first person there so I had my pick of everything but since I was running late um, there was not as much stuff so somebody else liked the blue colors because there wasn't as much blue stuff in my size but there was a lot of red stuff this time. Here's a black headband. I thought this would be useful in the winter time when it's cold and I'm out and about. Here's a pretty red lacy um, like elbow length sleeve shirt and it's got like these tapering angled ruffles going down the shirt. Here's a nice stretchy blue and black and white shirt. Here's a blue and black dress. Um, the dress you probably can't see it but it's got like a raised texture and it's got a blue top with this flowy almost silky fabric but it's definitely not silk and this is probably going to be too short for me so I'm gonna have to wear like leggings or tights underneath it. Now you can see that raised detail on the skirt. I got this red Hurley shirt. I got this long black velvet dress and it's just so nice to, t to the touch. Um, it's a long sleeve black velvet dress, very long. I got this nice red tank top with this um, geometric kind of pattern here. Um, the very 
Klimt looking pattern. I got this red with um, black velvet flowers uh, top and it's got an underneath shirt that buttons right here. This is fashion bug so this is definitely an older top but it's still um, pretty classy. I got this uh, purple shirt that has um, all sorts of detailing on it. Um, there's black and light purple. I'm not sure if it used to have sequins or if this is just part of the design, but there's like little round spots that look like maybe there used to be sequins there and somebody took them off. I don't know. It looks cool though. I got this purple and green shirt that has like a raised texture and um, sequins on it and I love this um, tie-dye kind of pattern. It just looks so cool. I got this nice uh, magenta tank top it's a real lightweight fabric and it's got a couple buttons on the collar there. And I got this pretty black and white, like, I wouldn't really call this a tribal print. Maybe it's a tribal print, but it's just a very detailed geometric print. It's very cool. And that's everything.